Hi, my name's John. Welcome to a review of the Artec Pro Arc 135 Inverter Stick Welder. Before we get started, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I've got a YouTube channel, channel's called Double Boost, and on that channel I do machining, plasma cutting, welding, a little bit of casting. I'm not a welder by train, I'm a motor mechanic, but seeing that I have done quite a lot of welding. Right, let's get started. We'll have a look and see exactly what you get with this little inverter welder package. The package comes in a nice case, which is ideal to keep it all together, put in the back of your van. First thing we'll find is an earth lead, copper earth lead, as opposed to a cheap aluminium one. Electrode holder, we call it stinger. The electrode goes in there. It's not the type I favour, but it is an electrode holder. There's also an adapter cable here, which goes from the small type dim plug to the larger plug, so you can use a bigger stinger or a longer stinger. Right, this is the welder itself. Unbelievable the size of the thing. Super lightweight, you could carry that round all day. This welder has got a 13 amp plug on it. The welder is capable of 135 amps, but that is using the 16 amp supply. On the 13 amp supply, you can get 125 amps. On off switch on the back, there's an earth point there, you can actually earth the welder to a bench if you're working on a steel bench. Two gins connect as negative and positive. We normally on stick welding you run electrode positive and your earth negative. How much control on there and that's all there is to it. It's a little warning of a temperature light. Basic, simple DC welding inverter. I can't believe how light it is. I'm going to take it up the other workshop do some welding with it, run, run a few rods, see what it's like on basically stick welding because that's what it's for. Before we start I want to talk a little bit about safety. This welder produces high DC electric currents, you don't take it outside in the rain. It produces an arc which produces ultraviolet light which will burn your eyes so you need to wear eye protection that's a quick change mask, I haven't got to use one of them, you can use an ordinary plate glass handheld visor. It also produces heat, so you need to wear gloves. Any exposed skin needs to be covered because it will get burnt with ultraviolet light. I've been burnt, I know what it's like, it's not funny. One or two little tools you'll find handy is a chip and hammer and a wire brush. Basically, that's all you need. Or stick welding. I'm going to be welding inside but I have got a big extractor fan in here. Uh, fumes is another hazard. Right I'll cut the welder up and then we'll try and run a, a rod with it. First thing is the earth lead that goes into the negative side. And that gets hurt onto your steel bench or onto the pot yeah. It's going to be well. This is a steel bench, so I earth it under there. Then you've got your stinger or your electrode holder. That goes into there. Plug, straightforward 30 amp, 240 volt mains. There's another lock switch at the back with a current control there. The rods I'm going to use are 
6030 in general purpose rod and that's a 2.5 mil rod which will run at about 70 amps that simply clips into there there you that now once you turn the welder on this is live all the time so if you put it down on the bench it'll straighten off so be aware that's live keep it away from your steel bench so we'll put that across there with the rod we'll turn it on Pulling fan running in the back, and that's ambush control, running 35 amps, down to 15 amps. Like I said before, 125 amps is about your limit on a 13 amp plug. We so want to run at about 70 amps, 65, 70, 80 amps on that basic rod. That was a 60 13 round 70 amps and it burned very well. Possibly a little bit on the cool side. Nothing the matter with that. Quite pleasantly surprised how well that went in. I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer and do some runs and try and get some shots. Sort of throw the, the world in the lens. Nothing much the matter with that. That's a 2.5 60 13 rod running at 75 amps. Good penetration, nice and smooth. No attempt at all to stick. I'm basically just dragging the rod along. This is a 3 mil lap joint. Once again, 60 13 rod at 70 amps.
I don't want to go that. The world starts to improve here. As I get into the field, so I basically see what I'm doing, but I'm actually working on cameras. I've just sat there and put 50 rods in it and I've been a plate one after another, that's all the dead ones there. It's what they call bead on plate. They used to do it at college to practice running straight lines. You see the world's actually getting better as I get towards the end. So that's 50 rods at 80 amp, one after another. So the duty cycle is pretty good. I'll turn things up and put a 3.2mm rod in and do some more. This is a 3.2 mil, a 7018 low hydrogen rod. So we'll turn up probably 120 amps. We have a stronger rod than the Not beautifully, no problem at all. A little bit hot. I'm about to go five. So nothing to matter with that. This is 2 mil male seal plate and I've got some little 1.5 60 30 in rods. So we'll turn it down and save it well well on a really low current. We should start to run about 25 amps. These would be good for artwork. Thirty. 
That's fine. A little bit more. 40 amps. Even better. To sum it up, it's an amazing little bit of kit for the size and weight of it to run off a 13 amp supply and it will run a 3.2mm rod properly. I've gone from 1.6s all the way up to 3.2s and I'm very very impressed with it. It's got a nice stable arc. It's easy to start, it doesn't stick. What can I say? It does exactly what it's supposed to do. You wouldn't buy this welder to go and build a ship. But to put in the back of your van in case you had a breakdown or for the hobbyists to use for gates or railings or even lighter stuff, artwork, ideal little bit of kit. I've enjoyed doing the video, doing the, the bead on plate, that brought back some memories. I've spent hours sitting doing that. See the way it's pulled it with a weld, bent it. Right, so to sum up, I think it's an amazing little bit of kit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I'm actually going to sit and burn some more rods just for the sake of burning rods. Anyway, thanks for watching.